Rec League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Radio Public, Breaker, and Stitcher. At Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 13 coming soon. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? So I just watched How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. It is the most recent release from DreamWorks Animation. Of course, it's the third movie in the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. It stars the voices of Jay Barcharel, America Ferreira, Kate Blanchett, F. Murray Abraham, Craig Ferguson, Jonah Hill, Christopher Mintz Plass, um, Kristen Wiig, Justin Ruppel replaces T.J. Miller, and uh, Jon Snow himself, Kit Harrington, is in this one, as well as the last one. And uh, it is directed by Dean du- Dublois, 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 Dublois. I'm sorry, I mispronounced a lot of names in my reviews. That is just another one in the long line of my mispronunciations. He uh, he co-directed the first one. He solo directed the second one. And he closed out the trilogy, man. If you want to give a shout out in my review of... I'm going to see Fighting With Your Family next weekend. Fighting With My Family next weekend. Stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. So, um, it has been some time... Since the defeat of Cal Drogo, Ivan Drogo, Jaimin Hansu in How to Train Your Dragon 2. If you're familiar with the series, you know how that wrapped up. And um, Hiccup is the leader of Burke now. The, the Viking king of Burke. And he's changed the culture. Dragons are cool. He's him, you know, him and the crew are rescuing dragons. And uh, F. Murray Abraham is not a very friendly person. There is a specific character that he wants to eliminate. And, um, you know, Hiccup and the crew, they, well, Hiccup remembers a story, which leads to him getting an idea, and that gives us our plot. For real, for real, like, I owe this I owe this movie, I owe this franchise, the cast, crew, DreamWorks, everybody, I owe this movie a huge apology. This movie, as you can tell, there's no there's nothing, there's no bar across the bottom, nothing I ain't mention it. This movie was not in my most anticipated one through ten honorable mention, man. Like this is like the Logan of this year for me, man. Cause Logan was an honorable mention the year it came out and it finished as my favorite movie of that year. I'm not I'm not calling this my favorite movie of the year because it's only February. But this should have been on my most anticipated list, man. Thousand, million, billion, trillion pardons, man. This is my opinion. So I'm not really tripping if it's any naysayers or disagreements. Aside from Toy Story, How to Train Your Dragon is the best series of animated movies in existence. Um, And it's one of the all-time dopest trilogies. It's got to be in contention. Be I mean, Toy Story is negated. Just like Indiana Jones, Toy Story 4 negates Toy Story from being one of the all-time great trilogies. Cause Kingdom of the Crystal Skull eliminates Indiana Jones, so Toy Story 4 has to eliminate Toy Story. But from seeing where these characters started in the first movie, the friendship and the bond and the brotherhood and just the family aspect of what Hiccup and Toothless go through throughout this entire franchise, it, it, it hits you. It hits you. Like, it's so dope. Like revisiting these movies was so much fun, and and Jay Barcharel, man, like one of, one of the buddies from Knocked Up, the the awkward dude from She's Out of My League. Like, who would have ever thought that he would be like the 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 marquee voice to lead an animated franchise? Uh, but but he's great as Hiccup, like unsure of himself. He's not your he's not your stereotypical Viking, but he is great in this role. And everything, whether it's been Gerard Butler in past movies, Kate Blanchett in other movies, Craig Ferguson, you know, trying to be insightful and and leading him on his way or being funny. Uh, you know, Chris, uh, Christopher Miss Plath, Jonah Hill, you know, they should have cast Michael Sarah instead of T.J. Miller. That would have been funny. 
Um, well, T.J. Miller was funny in the first in the first two movies, and Justin Ruppel sounds practically identical. There were a couple moments where I was like, "That does not sound like T.J. Miller," but for the most part, yeah, he's spot on. And Kristen Wiig, man, Kristen Wiig is still hilarious. She's the most underrated character. She plays the most underrated character in this entire trilogy. Kristen Kristen Wiig is funny in this series, man. The fight scenes are good. Like the 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 like I said, the brotherhood and the camaraderie between Hiccup and Toothless is still in this one. There were times toward the beginning when I was like, man, this one isn't really measuring up. But by the end of this movie, like I was emotional, man. I was I teared up at least three times. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um and and like the the battle scenes, the animation is is gorgeous. Like the way that they animate fire and like different weather and like stuff from a distance, like it all looks so good. I love DreamWorks, man. I would even say that I like what whatever I would consider their worst movie. And off the top of my head, that might be like Madagascar three or or Shark Tale or I don't, I don't know like don't don't hold me to it because I don't off the top of my head I don't remember my least favorite DreamWorks animated movie. Um, but yeah, like this is an amazing trilogy. It's a way to close out the trilogy. Like you, like man, there there were scenes in this movie where I was like I I, I like my heart dropped. Like, like, I was invested, you know what I mean? Like, this is the third movie in a, in a series, man. If you're watching this movie, you're invested in these characters. Even F. Murray Abraham, man, like, he's a dope antagonist. Like, they, the first antagonist is really the ignorance of the Vikings and Hiccup trying to convince Gerard Butler, stoic, that dragons are not as, as bad as they've thought they were for the whole time they've existed. Uh, Jaime Hansu was a dope villain. And he had like personal connections as far as why he didn't like dragons. F. Murray Abraham may be a better villain than Jaime Hansu was. I don't know, man. Like they, they said they're going to close it off with three movies. But I wouldn't be mad at a fourth movie. They could easily keep this franchise going. But if they want to they, if they want to go out on top, then they don't do anymore, man. So I don't know. Um, so with all that being said, man, in my opinion, I will say that How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, is almost dope as fuck. Have you seen How to Train Your Dragon 3? What did you think about it, man? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. I got some technical gripes that ain't got nothing to do with the movie. As far as, like, the marketing, I don't really think that the posters for this movie are as, as good or artistic as the first two movies. And then like DreamWorks kind of bounces around from like major distribution. I think Paramount distributed DreamWorks when the first movie came out. Fox did it when the second movie came out. Universal is doing it now. And this is the first Universal DreamWorks release. They had to have the Universal logo come up before the DreamWorks logo. And when a DreamWorks logo popped up, it made sure it said a Comcast company under it. I don't know. It's like little details that I really didn't like, but um, it, it ain't had nothing to do with the movie though. So uh, I've recently posted reviews for Alita: Battle Angel. Happy Death Day to you. Check those out, man. Uh, Miss Bala, uh, Lego Movie Two, Cold Pursuit, What Men Want. Check those out, man. We about to be in March. Like I said, fighting with my family. I'm gonna watch next weekend. Two weeks from now, Captain Marvel will be out. Um. Reg League Podcast episode 13, man. Be on the lookout for that, man. I got a dope episode mapped out in my head. So like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.